All right. I'm ready to finish my crocheted beginner Burnett dishcloth. I'm at the very last stitch here and what you do is you work that last single crochet just like that and then when you finish that last stitch you have one stitch still on your hook so to finish that off wrap the yarn around the hook one more time just one time and pull it straight through and then you're done you're finished now you're ready to weave in your ends and you'll have your dishcloth finished so to weave in the ends you get a tapestry needle like this that has a little curved point makes it easier to use and you thread the yarn on your needle so in order to thread the yarn you fold it across your needle like this and then you pull the needle out and you squeeze it until it's really flat and then you push the needle hole across the top of that until you can get a little tiny bit pulled through and then grab that little bit and pull it all the way through that's how to thread let me show you one more time and it's good to practice that because you'll be doing that a lot just lay your needle on top of the yarn, fold it over, and then pull that out and squeeze this really tight, and then push the needle hole down across the top of the folded yarn and then pull it through. Then you're ready to weave in your ends. And to weave in your ends, what you do is you look at your project and you decide where you're going to do it. I'm going to come across through here and then I'm going to come back a few stitches to secure it. Um, you don't want to just put your yarn through and then cut it because it can come out too easy. You need to secure it. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm just going to come in through that side and then I'm going to skip a little bit and come up through that one. Skip a little bit, come up through that one. So it's not a perfect science. You just kind of start running it through randomly little spots until you fill it up fill up your needle with little stitches that you ran it through and then you pull that through very carefully you don't want to stretch out those stitches you made before and then as soon as the needle comes through here and you've got the point start holding it there where that yarn is on the needle because if you pull it this way it might pull it all the way off of the yarn and then you have to stop and thread it again it's a real pain so hold it at the point where the yarn is connected to the needle. Hold that spot and pull it through and get it worked through. And don't pull it too tight. You know, you don't want to draw your fabric in. Just leave it so that it's nice and flat like that. And now to secure that, what you do is you skip that first loop that you're here under and you can go back through some of the others. You don't have to be precise with this either. You can go through any bit that you want, just as long as you skip that first stitch. <coughs> and then you pull that through. And the reason that you skip the first stitch is so that it grabs hold of the yarn and holds it. Then you're done with that. And now you can cut it. Be careful not to cut the dishcloth just cut that one yarn now that is woven in and I sometimes like to stretch it out a little bit and it pretty much disappeared didn't it now I'm going to weave in the ends on this other end once again you fold the yarn across that needle and pull the needle out and squeeze that real tight until it's flat and then push your needle down, needle hole, onto that flat piece of yarn and then pull it through. That'll get easier with practice too. And so here I'm at the very end. I'm going to skip down to the next row and then I'm going to just go through some stitches. Just like that. So I have about a needle full. 
and I'm going to show you what the other side looks like too. See, I'm not going completely through, I'm just going in the middle of those stitches. So pull that through, nice and neat. Then you pass the first stitch. You can pass the second one too if you want. I usually just pass the first one. And then I go back the other direction. There. Pull that through. There you go. Now your washcloth is finished. Pretty, pretty dishcloth, washcloth, whatever you want it to be. This would make a beautiful gift for a friend. You can get a nice fancy soap and put it together with that and wrap it up with a pretty ribbon. Beautiful gift for a friend. A beautiful gift for yourself. <laughs> Once you use a handmade dishcloth or washcloth, you will never buy another store-bought because they just don't work as well and they're just, they just don't feel as good. So make yourself lots of dishcloths. It's a wonderful way to learn to crochet. And that's it. See you later in the Burnett Forum, y'all.